Hello, welcome to Watercolor Theory. This is a late version of Mindset Monday. I do apologize. Are you in a rut or experiencing painter's block? Or are you trying to experiment with a different style and not getting the results you want? Well, you're not alone. Recently, I was in a rut and I had an epiphany. I would like to share that with you today. I was painting four versions of the popular lobster shack in Rockport, Massachusetts. I was trying to paint in a style that's not my own. I was trying to repeat what books and other YouTubers have said to do, and it just didn't fit with me. And I found that I was getting more frustrated than anything. Going through that journey and breaking through the dissatisfaction really brought me joy because my realization was that I'm trying to do something that isn't me and that's not doing you a service or myself a service. So I'm really glad I went through that process while it was frustrating. The period of time that I was going through it was frustrating, but the whole thing was a breakthrough moment for me because I realized I wasn't being my own true self, which again is a disservice to myself and you. I realized that I just need to paint the way I paint and when people tune into my channel they'll either like it or they won't and that's okay because there are a lot of different ways to express ourselves as an artist. In this year of 2023 I have done many different styles and I will show those to you from caricatures to landscapes and right now wildlife is my thing. So trying to paint a building when my heart and mind were set on painting wildlife wasn't of service again to you or to myself. Last week I released my first video, an elephant emerging from the dust. And I had so much fun and it was so expressive. I loved that painting and did not feel that way with Rockport. So as I show these different paintings through the past year, I just want you to look and say, where have I been and why am I trying to move on? And what is, what is the mindset message here? Well, the mindset for me is express your own creativity don't force anything. And for you, it might be the same way. Why am I trying to do this? Is it to improve or is it to impress? And I feel that I was trying to impress upon you that I'm an instructor. And the audience I'm looking for is somebody who's past that beginner stage, they've bought their paints, they've purchased their brushes, the paper they're going to have and at this point now they want to see something different and while I came up with my style on my own such as this elephant or bison or other paintings I've done the ultimate realization I had in this process was that I had already gone through this journey myself but had been doing my art this way for a little while. If you look at the drawing of this elephant, it's pretty detailed. If you watch other YouTube channels, many of them do a very quick and loose pencil sketch. And I'm not saying that they do that light, quick sketch because they're afraid that their painting isn't going to turn out. But I'm wondering if that's how they got into the habit. So I used to draw my sketches with a 2H pencil and it would just disappear and I would lose it. So then I switched to a 2B, which is slightly darker, still kind of light compared to what others use, but I put in more detail because I have faith that the painting will turn out. And so I think because we approach the painting process with a level of trepidation or you know we're just a little bit afraid we do a quick sketch. That way we're not too invested in our painting if it doesn't turn out. Well, 
And if it doesn't turn out, it doesn't turn out. You just go, oh no, it didn't turn out. And you move on. You do another one. So um, that was the real realization for me is that I was kind of already doing this, but I wasn't teaching my way. I was teaching somebody else's way. So have faith in your painting process and paint within the way you're comfortable. Start with a line drawing that takes a little bit more time. Again, this elephant painting, the drawing part of it maybe took me 30 minutes. So that isn't that big of an amount of time compared to the impact once I applied paint. Had I done a very light uh, pencil sketch, it might have gotten lost in that. I mean, the very first wash that I did and then allowed to dry, you could still see that elephant. I was halfway tempted to not even put in any more paint, but I wanted to apply that paint so that an elephant could emerge from the dust or appear as if a fog had been lifted. Invest your time in the painting. Give the painting the time it deserves. And if you start with a detailed drawing, you will probably get through your painting even faster because I've found that when I had loose pencil work, it was, uh, again, getting lost. And I wasn't, you know, I was having to really figure out where I was, but ultimately have the mindset is I have faith in my painting ability and therefore I am going to give this painting the drawing and the foundation it deserves. And one more thing, I was talking to somebody the other day about YouTube subscriptions and they said they didn't want to subscribe because they didn't want to pay a monthly fee. And so that term subscription is just you're letting them know that they have an audience. So you as a subscriber are letting me know that you're part of my audience and it doesn't cost you anything. Have an amazing day.